Welcome to Roger Paul and our skies today. Plenty of next never update today. Folks, we're at sun, we're sunrise right now. Look at this. Look at that. The sun, nowhere to be seen, but it's going to come up over there. And check this out. Look, look at that. What is going on here? Looks like something that, uh, look at this. And here. What the heck is that? This is the first time I've seen stuff like this. Look at that. See how weird that looks? There. Here. It's like it's circle in the clouds. And then this, that's not too bad looking. And then we got this right here. Really? What is that from? does look like, like an object sitting here. Dang it. There we go. But look at this, folks. Now, how weird is this? That's pretty weird. Look at this. Jeez. Oh. Look at that. There's just the southeast. There's the east. Look at this. But the, the, the sun's not even up yet. This is weird, folks. Very, very weird. Alright, well, there you have it. Look at that. Buddy, something's shining right in there. Look at that. Something's shining in there. I'm telling you, the sun's not up yet. When the sun comes up, it's going to be right over there. Look at that. Oh, well, planet's every system doing this. Sky's starting to set up. And I'm, it's going to get real red this morning, so I got more coming. Stay with me. You'll see. Watch. I can see that some of you are getting a extremely red object that does not look like the sun. So, now, there's the west, back behind them trees. I've seen a big, big object back there. My wife came in and got me and said we need to go for a ride. Well, at the time, I had a Droid X. And the battery had exploded inside. So when I took, pretty much when I took, if I didn't have it hooked up to a uh, portable charger, it would get, it would, the phone would shut off. Well, anyway, we went up north here. And we got up that way about a mile. She told me, look over my left shoulder. So I did. You know, she was all nonchalant about it. And she goes, what is that? I was like, I don't know. Well, anyway, we turned around and we, you know, we passed our driveway up, went down, went south, about a mile, mile and a half. You know, and I'm watching this big object over in this area the whole time. Man, I couldn't believe what I was looking at. Could not believe it, folks. Well, anyway, uh, we had, uh, as I was watching it, It was going away you know it was going into the clouds i mean really quick too real quick folks but there was another big dark black object in front of that and when she came got me you know this object was it was almost halfway gone and she told me she goes it was bigger than that i was like i can i can believe it because i see how quick this object is you know it's disappearing real quick well, anyway, folks, by the time we got turned around again, headed home, there was only a quarter of the object left. And uh, what surprised me was, at that time, there was a blue halo around the object, what was left of it. You know what I mean? And that got me thinking that we see 
the halo around the sun. You know what I mean? So, and it's got side flares, two rainbows, one on each side of the sun. So with this big red object that, that we seen, it had a blue halo with another black object in front of it. So that got me thinking that when our sun has that blue halo around it and the side flare rainbows, it's, that's emitting light. That tells me that our real sun is being eclipsed. And that's why I say our sun is eclipsed. Because it's got the halo around it and side players. So, there's just no other way to explain that, folks. When the halo is around the sun, it's being eclipsed. I'd lay a dollar against a donut any day of the week on that. You see, because this Planet X Nebiru, folks, oh, it's here. It's definitely here. And our poles is going to flip. I was hoping for a better Nebiru tonight video. But uh, check this out. Look at this. You notice how it goes like this? Like it starts like back in here, actually. Let's see here. Yeah, right in here. Starts right in here and then goes like that. It circles around and then goes in. See there? And then something here. You see what I'm saying? But uh, folks, we need to get prepared. We need to react spiritually. I say react because, look at this. There could be an object right there. You know, I'm not saying objects are in the clouds because I know better than that. But they're close enough to where they're putting like punch clouds and you can just tell it's an object. You know, it's not in the clouds, but they are setting closer than what we're either told or than what we know. But uh, anyway, folks, we really do need to Start putting Jesus first, you know. It don't matter what you call Jesus, you know. You know, like Jesus, uh, Yeshua, Yeshua, Jehovah Jireh. It don't matter what you call him. He's still the same to all of us. He is our Lord and Savior. Folks, we really need to start putting him first you know let the love of god fill our hearts and our minds synchronize our hearts and minds to be one with god and live like that each day you know you wake up pick up your cross and follow him you go to bed well say your prayers of course you wake up, pick up your cross, and follow him again. So, that's what I try to do. Lord knows when I do stuff I ain't supposed to, I end up having nightmares. Only my nightmares, I cannot wake up. I cannot breathe. I cannot move. It's called sleep paralysis. Some say it's an actual, it's a dream demon. Messing, you know, tormenting you. They're actually trying, uh, the dream demon actually tries to kill you while you're asleep. Kind of feels like you, uh, sometimes it's like you can almost feel your soul. Like something is trying to pull the soul right out of your body. And that's what it feels like at times. And it's scary, folks. It really is. It used to happen to me. Let's see, uh, ten years ago it used to happen... Two, three times every night. And, but, I mean, my wife literally has to wake me up in order for me to wake up. You know, it's everything I can do is to move my fingers, you know, and because it, 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 it got so bad that I actually had to uh, sleep on my side 
with my arm on her waist and that way I can if it happens that way I can move my fingers the best I can and she can wake me up but now she knows when it happens and she does wake me up it don't happen very often at all but it does happen that sleep paralysis is no joke folks you know but bad part is I've had two heart attacks already you know so um, anything can happen folks you never know if you're gonna wake up tomorrow's not promised for us so be the best person you can be folks is what I'm trying to say you know what I'm saying just be the best you can and as far as getting ready for all this do what you can to stock up what you can but no matter what accept Jesus and stay right stay vigilant stay prepared so folks I do thank you for watching this Nebiru Planet X update today I'm sorry it wasn't it better than it is and hopefully tomorrow will be even better I love you all, and I do thank you for watching Roger Paul and Our Skies Today. And God bless you, everybody. May the Lord bless be with all of us. And again, I thank you all for watching. I got to say it, much peace and love always to you all. God bless you, everybody. Sorry, taking a few screenshots. All right, I love you, everybody. God bless you, everyone.